Okay, welcome in my video tutorial in Hot Figures Max 2017. I will discuss today logging tips, how you can work with multiple objects. We, we can hide things. We also have an option make you can, we can hide polygons. Hide selected. I get selected and now you can see what is inside of your figures max house okay I need to check some settings I will just move because you can you can move this edit geometry I will put here so I will have just here because you can also move this edit polygons can be moved here soft selection can be here okay now unhide all you can hide the polygon when you don't use layer you, but you can use layers also I just wanted to consider one thing. Let's go back to modifier UV unwrapping unwrap UV W and now oh yes I have to check something. Make sure when you go from unwrap how W to edit poly hit hold yes because you swap against modifier to edit poly but you can go back to unwrap FOW. But what we need to do, we have to select our seams. Point to point edge selection. What I'm going to do, oh, this is actually much better than blenders. There is option. I'm just trying to find convert edge selection to seams because it will unwrap our polygon object. We we will have to discuss other things as well. Okay. Now I have got my edge selection. Hmm, I didn't see this color before. Oh, it is actually even better than in Blender. I just, I, I just try to deselect this. What's, what's the keyboard shortcut for to deselect? Hmm. Control does not work. Uh, alt. I don't know where I can find. Oh yes, I found already. You have to deselect this when you want to exit edge selection because we have to honor up our building we are doing proper selection because I have to talk about applying materials Also, uh, after when I done, after when I had done a selection, I need to unwrap as quick as possible. Maybe one of them, one of these walls, because I'm not going to honor up everything 
this is uh, selected uh, this, these edges are selected to be cut ok everything has been selected go to option normal mapping ok but I have to focus on our polygon object hmm My, my dogs, they make noise. <laughs> um, where is this, this option? Okay. Box map, planner map. No, I'm not interested in about planner mapping. Oh, unfold mapping this is our this is only front face because I didn't cut seams I had to, I will have to select every single edge but this is time consuming time consuming process yes but it works fine because I didn't select all edges Also this, polygon, maybe this, okay, after that we will have to apply our material, mm, okay, our polygon face, okay, unfold mapping, we have all thing, I don't know what is to do, normalize clusters, Oh no, I can see this became much bigger. I must uh, use uh, this option. Okay, but our clusters... No, this I don't touch. Because I have got section select my element mm, I saw something which allowed me to What if I choose a flatten? Oh we got our texture which is properly unwrapped and now I we must convert to edit folly we also have to create our custom library materials are unlimited it's, it shows all, only 24 slots when uh, everything gets full you can re reset uh, material editor slots and materials what you created before they will be in material material library other materials what you created will be stored here don't worry if you reset material editor slot go to color choose heat map or because we have to mention different thing as well textures 
Maybe you get a graphic in a text too, this is in the Bali language. Library texture. I have to choose maybe concrete. Concrete material. Okay, we applied our map. Foot to library. It's always better to rename. Don't worry if you re if you reset material editor slots. Your materials will be still there. For example, if I choose this, get material, there should be your own material. This is our created material, concrete custom. Now we apply our texture. What we have to do? Um, we have to find out. Uh, we have to check because sometimes 3ds Max asks for missing uh, files. Con configure system paths. Mm. I smell the duck. I just try to external files. Add. Okay, what we have to do? We, c we will create our project. We have to create folder to save textures. We will use the utility resource collector, add a soup path as well. This is our new path for our external files. Okay, now go to... Uh, where is this? Utilities, more, choose resource collector, include max files, Update materials, browse, go to your project, always use the external for the begin, copy, and now in our catalog we should have our project saved. Now we have our texture. And our project, when 3ds Max ask for texture, because it will ask us. Now we have our, oh, I have to change project folder as well. Change your project folder to your different project. New catalog models, German house, no, this, change it. Oh, save us. It must know path configuration file. Now we created our default um, path for saving scenes. And now, oh no. Okay, now we have to use command hold fetch because it will delete undo, you undo command will be deleted because 3ds Max stores some information but not like Maya. You have to go to edit delete by type history but in this program use command Holy fetch. We will have to also use uh, our another tool, which is very handy. This tool is called uh, Select and Place. But also, don't forget to use Pivot Center. Your Pivot will be 
center. Also, there is utility place without service. But this. Oh, yes, now. But Vivo does not move. For some reason. For some reasons. Only our object is moving. Local aligned. Okay. We have. We have options. Of it. Hmm. This is quite interesting. In the previous version I could uh, select Fivot and it was moving object. Okay, let's go back to uh, select and place. We can align quickly our objects. In uh, Figures Max 2017 update 2 it changed. So you can quickly align your object without any hassle. For example, when you create house what we have got here we also have this for rotation objects and other settings pillow mode use base as evoke Okay, auto parent. I didn't use auto parent. Okay, these settings are quite important. They did not exist in all, all versions of 3ds Max. Now I hope you like this video. What I call this video, I have to check because I recorded some videos. I must check. 3 Max 2017 for beginners tutorial part 1. This will be tutorial second because we have lots of things uh, to be discussed. I think uh, I will record up to parts 7 or even 8. 